brake channel. Anybody hear this mud duck radio up here in Michigan? Hey, thanks. Uh, where are you at out there? We're up here in Michigan. You got 269. Hey, 10-4 on that. You're, you're making a fine trip up here. We're, uh, I don't know, maybe 10 miles south of Flint, Michigan. And uh, we're just running a little barefoot uh, Radio Shack radio, TRC-485. About 2-watt dead key swinging up and, and a 4-element beam pointing down your way. It's sounding good down here in Alabama. They see on this end, I have a low rider on the other radio. Sounding good. Okay, well, whatever you got, it sounds real good up here for sure. I'm sure most of my uh, my situation is just conditions. Conditions are what uh, lets me talk. So, have a good day. Two six nine up here in Michigan. Hi, Michigan. I'm one three. The hardest ditch, and we wait to hang Yeah, look down. We do. Y'all get all of it. Yeah, we're doing all fine now. CQ, CQ, 269 Michigan, trying. Hey, good morning to you. How you doing this morning? Oh, not too bad. I'm looking forward to the sunshine here. Uh, we've been missing here for the last few days. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the, the, the warm up here. And, uh, nice couple days off. How about yourself? Yeah, same, man. i got to get out there and... Uh, do some yard work and stuff, but other than that, yeah, I got tomorrow off as well for the Memorial Day, so that's uh, always a good thing. Uh, how are we coming in? Uh, this is a little uh, Radio Shack radio. It's TRC 485. I just did an alignment on it. Just hoping it's working okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it sounds good. Uh, um, I'm not too far, too far away. I'm here in northern Livingston County, but uh, no, it sounds sounds good. Uh, Sounds good on this end. Okay, real good. Yeah, we're up here by Flint, maybe 10 miles south of Flint there, over here in Grand Blanc. Okay, roger that. Yep, I'm right over here, uh, uh, just north of Fowlerville, actually. Uh, I got a pirate mailing address, but I'm north of Fowlerville. I'm actually, like, right out in the Livingston County, the Shiawassee County line, roger. Hey, roger that. Yeah, I think I'm actually horizontal, too, so you're coming in really good for, uh, where you're at. I think I'm I'm running the Mako Shooting Star, but I think I'm on the horizontal elements right now. Yeah, Roger that. I'm on I'm on my horizontal as well. I I run a Gizmachi three element. Um, I'm actually pointed. Let me see. I might be able to get in a little bit better here. Um, I'm actually pointed. You know what? I think that works. But uh, um, yeah, I'm using Gizmachi three element as well, Roger. Hey, Roger, on that, yeah, I, ha I figured you must have been. You actually kind of dropped out there. I'm not sure if you turned away or something, but you actually kind of dropped out on me. I still heard you, but it went way down. Yeah, Roger that. I actually uh, took this turn to my antenna and uh, didn't realize I, I ran the, the wrong direction. But, uh, yeah, no, your, your radio sounds good over this way. Um, you say it's a, uh, it's a radio shack, eh? Yeah, it's a Radio Shack TRC-485 is the model number. It's an older one, but it has like the LCD display on it, and it's got uh, AM single sideband 40 channel. Um, it kind of, if you remember the old radio, it was the Magnum 257. It kind of resembles that radio a little bit. It has the same look to it. Yeah, roger that. Oh, it sounds good, man. That's that's really cool. Those, that's really cool to uh, uh, 
uh, get those old radios, uh, keep them rolling, and, uh, you know, still have some of the uh, best sound and want those old radio, radios, Roger. Yeah, it was, uh, luckily, uh, it didn't have anything really bad done to it, you know, it was just over-adjusted, typical guy go in there and yell audio and turn up the watt, look at the watt meter until it swings the most, but just turned it down a little bit and everything seems to be working pretty good so far, so I think I'm going to put the case screws in it and call it a win. Yeah, that sounds, uh, sounds like a plan to me, you know, sometimes you can overdo stuff and uh, everybody tries to sit there and get the man side of something and, uh, and then end up ruining it, you know, uh, uh, longevity is the key to uh, CV World Radio. Roger. Oh yeah, it came with the, um, the bad thing about these radios is they have that mic jack, this, the DIN plug, that's like the Radio Shack's been notorious for those, but this one came with the old D104 M6B, and it has the DIN plug on it, so obviously the operator that used this mic, or used this radio, obviously included the mic with it, because that's what they used, but um, the mic didn't work either, um, something was wrong in the PTT switch, but I sprayed a little deoxid in there and just, you know, played with it a little bit and now I got it to work. So it wasn't passing audio. Yeah, Roger, on that, uh, yeah, it's amazing what a little bit of TLC can do. You know, I think I think what I've heard in the past is that uh, some of the worst things that you can do to a radio is just let it sit, you know. Um, but yeah, sometimes just a little bit of TLC is all it takes, man, to bring, bring those things back to life. So, well, hey, man, I will let you go and uh, let the DA grow, but man, uh, yeah, you're sounding good over this way, my friend. Um, we got 5177 Michigan. We're going to get back off on the side. Like I said, we'll listen and uh, see what's going on out there. All right, 5177. Yep, have a good day. Have a good weekend. Little uh, 12 watt radio here, barefooted, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Have a good one. 269 clear. Roger that. They're 269 73 my friend. Until next time, 5177, we're on the side.